Hi, this is a quick tutorial in how to use the Gaming Design and Prices page. If you're not currently on this page already, you can get there from our site by hovering over the World Mesh header, clicking on Gavian, and then clicking on the Prices and Calculator button. Okay, this will bring up the page. It's a quick description and how to use the calculator on here. Um, and some subheaders that kind of give you a bit more information. Um, but the two areas where the pricing is done is in the custom calculations box. And for those of you that know exactly what you want, uh, there's a table of all the different baskets here down below. Um, and I'll go through that in a minute after we've done the um, custom design and calculators box. So firstly, what we need to know is the length and height of your given wall. So, you know, what height do you actually want to retain and over what length? So first of all, we'll, we'll, we'll have an example. Um, a two meter high wall, um, let's say 10 meters in length. So all you need to do is put your height in the box here of two in this example and your length of 10. Now the standard wire thickness for um, any wall up to three meters in height is three mil. Um, but for sometimes for architectural uses, people will use four mil baskets, but that's normally on walls that are a little bit thinner than, than the standard. For example, a freestanding wall that's three meter high, quite often they'll only do it a meter deep, um, but that isn't retaining. So for a retaining wall, the standard thickness is three mil. Now, you may want to consider a four mil face on the basket. So the whole basket is in three mil, but the bit you can see, the front panel, which is in a thicker material, which is four mil here. All you have to do is click that box to get that price. The other option here is hand laying partitions. Now hand laying partitions are a false front. Um, they come separate. Um, they're identical to the mesh of the basket, but you put them in two or three squares back. Um, so, so square is three inches. So you'd be putting that six inches or nine inches back. Um, and this kind of allows you to put a good quality stone in and then backfill behind um, with a cheaper material or something smaller. So say building rubble or stone that is less than three inches wide, say 50 mil stone, two inch stone. So I'll start with just the standard option here, which is three mil. Um, and all you do is just press the calculator button. Now immediately, well it should be immediately, it will bring up um, a drawing of how the wall is, how it's designed, and the kind of quantities of baskets that you need to do this wall. This price here is the total price, um, and that also includes your delivery, but it is net of that. So you can see in this example here, the bottom row basket is one and a half meters deep, and the top row basket is one meter deep. So you can see here, there's 10 baskets that are 1.5 by one by one. So that's which relates to your bottom row here, which is 1.5 by 1 by 1, and you'd have 10 of those. Now the top row, as we can get away with using the 2 meter baskets on their side, we're only going to use 5 here, so that's 5 of those baskets. And that is the industry standard way to do a 2 meter high wall. So while we're on here, I'll show you what would have happened if we click the formal face and the hand laying petition option. Which recalculate that. It would just give you the additional costs for the front faces and the handling petitions. So in this example, it's £60 extra each. Okay, with the design now, if you've got two walls, for example, um, I'll get rid of these handling petitions and formal faces for now and just recalculate that. So you've got one wall that's 10 meter long and two meter high, and you've also got another wall that's say 20 meters long and only one meter high. The basket, or the way we price, um, the, quantity, the, the cost of each basket is reduced depending on the total quantity of baskets you have. So what you'd have to do here is firstly add this to your basket. So you click the Add to Basket button, and this is added to your basket. You can see your basket at the top of the page here. It's got 15 items in, and you can see the prices here. So, Keep a note of these prices here. The 1.5 by 1 bonds are £38.46 and the 2 by 1 bonds are £48.96 at this point. Okay, 
So go back down to the calculator and we put our height in of one meter and our length of 20 meter and press calculate. Basically, it's only a meter high, so all you're using is 10 of these two by one by one baskets on the side. The example here is three meters long, just to show you what would happen if your wall was an odd, odd length. Uh, so basically, if it was um, say 21 meters, you, you need a one meter cube on the end. So if we add that to basket, these 10 baskets, and we go up to the top, you can see that the 2 by one by ones have reduced in price and the 1.5 by one by ones have reduced in price. This is the quantity discount and it will always happen across the website. The more you add, the cheaper everything gets. Okay, let's clear that basket now so there's nothing left in it um, and hide it. Okay, um, I don't think I went through these other two options with you, uh, which is the helicals and the 2 inch mesh face. We don't commonly use the 2 inch mesh face. But this might be useful if you've got a lot of small stone on site. Um, basically, you can change the front panel the same way you would with a formal face. So the only panel that's different in the whole basket, the whole basket is three inch, but the one panel you can see is two inches wide. This stops stone, say, that 70 mil getting out. Um, so you can put a small stone in there, and it can't really go out the sides because the baskets are next to each other, and it can't go out the back because there's backfill there. However, I would always strongly suggest that you try to get away from this and use proper gabion stone, the, the 100mm to 200mm stone, or 4 inch to 8 inch. Okay, helical springs. Um, as standard, all the baskets come with lacing wire to tie the baskets together. Uh, if you want this and how to install them, you can find them up here on the um, gabion page, um, gabion basket installation. Um, this will give you everything you need to know and you can print it off from that page. There's also important information about putting the braces in to stop them bowing. It's very important, so do give that a read. So, if you order the baskets with helical springs, it will still have all the lace and wire you need for the braces and, and tying it up. But these are an optional extra. They dramatically speed up the process of, it, of, of tying the baskets together. They're like a one meter spring that you coil down the verticals between the two baskets. It allows you to attach four panels together in one go rather than having to lace two or three times to, to, to put them together. So it will save quite a bit of time, but in my opinion they're not, they're not quite as neat um, because a, a pressure installer can get the wire very, very flush, whereas the springs are about 25mm diameter. So. Some people like the look of them, um, and they're there for you. If you want to do a quicker job, and you're worried about the lacing, then the helicals don't cost that much more, um, and they will speed up installation. Okay, well, I might quickly just show you what would happen on um, a two and a half meter high wall, because there's different height baskets then. So say we do a two and a half meter high wall, 20 meters in length, and we, we, we calculate that. You can see here that the, it's very similar to the two meter high wall, but the top row basket, is only half a meter high and half a meter deep. So what's going to is a standard design. The reason it gets shallower as it goes up is it's a mass retaining system. The higher you go, the more weight you need to retain the material behind it. That's why they get deeper. So if we, for example, go for a three meter high wall, you'll find that it's even deep on the bottom row. Um, you end up with a two meter deep bottom row 1.5 meter deep second row and a one meter deep top row. Okay, well, that explains the custom calculator. These are all industry designs. This is how the majority of gamings are done across the UK. Okay, I'll, I'll just reset this page. Um, Gabriel Bryson calculator. Okay, so now I'm going to go through the table of gamings. Um, where basically if you know exactly what you want and you're, you know, you've know you used gabions before or you've already got a gabion wall and you want to make additions to it then this is the full table of all the individual baskets you can buy. Obviously it's, it's quite long winded, there's an awful lot of, of, of details there. So we've got a filter system on, on, on the walls, on, on this table. So first you've got finish. Now, I didn't go through that before. Um, the finishes are 3mm, 4mm, 5mm. I've already gone through what 3mm is a standard, 4mm for architectural uses. 
5 mil is an incredibly strong basket. They're normally used for military applications or prisons, that kind of thing, where it's important that the wires aren't, aren't, aren't broken. Um, you, you'll, you'll see these baskets um, in Afghanistan, um, surrounding military bases. But sometimes people use 5 mil baskets if, if they want to drive on them and they need the extra thickness. Um, so, you know, potentially people do use them for that purpose. The other option here is kind of green PVC. Now, green PVC is a, is a 3 mil, three mil wire. But it's used specifically in coastal environments where, where the salt spray will, will corrode the basket very quickly. Um, the PVC gives it an extra lifespan. As standard, the, the, the baskets are on Galfan. Galfan is a zinc and aluminium finish. It gets its name from the Galvanising Fantastic Institute in America. Um, it's, it, standard galvanising has got a lifespan of around 15 years, whereas these baskets have a lifespan of 60. Now obviously in, in coastal environments, um, you wouldn't get that. So that's why we have the green PVC option. Um, green PVC is on top of the galvan van, so realistically it can last anywhere between 60 and 120 years, so a, lo a long time. Okay, so as standard, say you wanted some three more baskets, you. You, you know, you change it to Galfan, um, change the aperture to, to the standard three inch square um, and the thickness to three mil. You're not, you're not seeing this this filtering, but if you look, there's, 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 there's less results down there. So at the moment, we've got a, a column showing price for one unit. So basically, this is just if you're only having one basket, but the basket is going to get dramatically cheaper the more you have. So say for example, we do that example above where you had your um, 20 meter wall, uh, two meters high. In that case, you'd have 20 number 1.5 by 1 by 1s and 10 number 2 by 1 by 1s. So you, you, put, you put your numbers in the boxes, see so 2 by 1 by 1s there and 1.5 by 1s there. And you just press the, the update button. So this here will give you the updated price uh, with its quantity discount, you can see they've got quite a bit cheaper, um, and this is the price per basket. Now, all you have to do now is click the Add to Basket button, and it will add everything, all the baskets in one go. It'll add the 1.5 by 1 by 1s and the 2 by 1 by 1s to your basket. So here we go, we click that there, and that I can show you back up at the top. Your 20 and 10 baskets are in there now. Let's clear that again now. Right, okay. Um, if you want to see the additions, you kind of need to get rid of the, these filters. So you'd have to get the thickness and the aperture off. Um, and um, it's unfiltered now. And then take the finish off as well. You can just select from here. You can see here you've got helical springs and, and hand lane petitions and formal faces. So say you wanted helical springs, you, you could add them from here. Um, they are cheap in this, they're only £1.25 each if you're having them with other baskets. This is just the cost of one basket uh, or one helical sent on its own. Okay, um, if you want to know anything about the amount of stone you need for a basket um, to fill them, um, you can get all that information on the Gabian information page. If we click on here, slide down, so there's quite a bit of information on here. Um, but the actual weights of certain types of stone um, are on this page. So a standard fill might be limestone, uh, probably one of the most common ones. If you look here, it's 1.44 kilograms per cubic meter. That means, well, we'll estimate that at 1.5 tons per cubic meter. So a two by one by one basket, which is this basket up here, would basically take three tons to fill. Obviously, if you're using different material, these, these are the different weights that you can use for them. Um, another thing you might want to look at is the, the blog. Now, every gaming page has its own blog, um, and these are examples of projects that uh, the customers have done. So if you have a look through, you can see them from here. Um, what you have to do is, if you see one you like, um, this is quite a good one here, it's David's Curve Gaming Wall. He, it's a very difficult install, this one. If you, if you click on it, it'll bring you up to the blog page. Um, and this will go through all the different examples of the different jobs. So this is Gabe, this is David's job, but if you go back up to the top, you can click the Gabian button again, 
um, and it will go through all the different options. Um, I don't know if you can see it on here, but there are helical springs on this, on this, on these baskets. Um, this is an example of a formal, formal basket um, for an architectural use, freestanding. Um, these baskets are in three mil. Um, if we slide down a bit further, these baskets aren't the standard design. They've gone thinner, um, only half a metre deep. But you can see you can still get good results. Um, we can't really recommend that, but you know you can see what other people have done. Um, yeah, so that's the you know everything you need to know about gabions. But if you have any questions or everything I've said doesn't make any sense, just give us a call and we'll we'll go through it. There's we've got a team of sales staff that have been working with gabions for for ten years now. So any problems you have or any custom things you want, for example, going around curves, anything like that, just give us a call and one of our sales staff will will go through it with you.